Hey guys, I'm Nathan from Harrison Consoles, and did you know that you can change the name, volume, and color of your clips on the cue page? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how. So what I have here on the screen is a bunch of tracks, and some of them are just audio tracks that I've recorded onto the timeline, but the ones that have clips on them are actually cue tracks, and you can see I have different colors, but I may want to go in and adjust the names and maybe rethink the color choices I've made and also adjust some volumes. So for instance, if we click on a clip here, we can see that it says 105 verse 1.112, and that might be just too confusing for what you're trying to do. So we can actually just double click on here. And I'm going to say this is a section V1. And then the clip that says 105 chorus one, I'm just gonna change that as well. So A section V2, because these two clips are really part of the same verse. And then when we go down to the next section, I can name those accordingly. So on the B section, I just have a very simple uh, hi-hat pattern that I found on the raw MIDI drums. So I can click on that and double click, and we're gonna rename this to B section HH. And same thing goes for this. It's the same clip, I'm just gonna go ahead and rename it. So B section HH. Now, you can see here we have velocity adjustments, and we can also change the color, and send different patches to the different clips. So I may want to change the sound of the hi-hat depending on what's going on, uh, but we'll take a listen to that in a second. And if I go over here and click on an audio, we can see we have the same options for our clip properties. We can change the name. And this is a weird, definitely a weird clip. So I'm gonna call this Weird Sonic. And we currently have the color as blue. Let's just go in and we can change that to anything we want. Let's make it a light fuchsia. And then I actually have the gain down by 3 dB because I felt like it was a little too loud. But you can adjust the gain by clicking on the arrows up or down. And this is a fairly long clip name. So I'm gonna change this one as well to BR round. And then the next one will be BR chopped. So now that I've shown you how to change the colors and the names and also adjust the gain, let's go ahead and listen to what we have. Okay, so that sounds good so far, but let's just say for example that our A section verse two is a little loud. I actually adjusted that by a velocity of four, but let me bring it back down to zero. And let's listen to that now. Okay, here's our B section. Notice the little hi-hat pattern I have going on. Okay, that sounded really good. I noticed that the B round clip was a little loud compared to the BR chopped. So I'm just gonna click on that clip and then bring down the volume. Let's try 3 dB. Okay, so let's go back to our G Q marker here that you can see here on the timeline. I have my audio recorded for my guitars and bass. 
then I'm queuing each of these clips by cue markers on the timeline. So going back to G, and let's listen back and see how that blends a little bit better. <laughs> Okay, one more thing, let's do this. Let's go to our B sec hi-hat. And since this is on a totally different Q slot than what the first B sec HH is assigned to, we can actually go in and change the sound. So we can do that under send patches and MIDI patches. And let's see what happens if we made this a electronic drum. All right, so let's go back to G. <laughs> Okay, so there's that hi-hat versus the one that came in on E. Okay, just for fun, let's try out one more. Let's do the 808 drums. Okay, we're actually gonna adjust the volume of this pretty loud. Let's make it really stand out against this BR round clip. And let's unsolo this track and listen back. Let's go back to F. Okay, great. So there's other ways you can modify this arrangement. We can take the B section of hi-hats and put them on a totally different track and add some delay, maybe some reverb, whatever effects you want. So I hope this has been helpful to show you how you can change the names, the color, and the volume adjustment of your individual clips. And go try this out for yourself and see what kind of music that you can create. So if you like this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and click the bell down below. And once again, I'm Nathan from Harrison Consoles, and I'll see you in the next video.